Hey, what's up guys? It's Davida and I'm back with another fire video for you guys. Today's video is going to be on everything you need to know to not just pass, but ace your 11th grade history star test. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Number one thing you need to know is the Declaration of Independence. It was dated July 4th, 1776. Thomas Jefferson was known as the father of the Declaration of Independence. To summarize, it declared us free and independent and it gave us all the list of complaints slash grievances against the English Parliament and King George III. Number two, the US Constitution. After a while of transitioning, the US Constitution was put in place to establish basic structure for the US government. It allowed fair opportunities by putting powers in the hands of the people. That's why the first three words of the Constitution were, we the people. The Constitution was referred to as the supreme law of the land because the Founding Fathers wanted a specialized, secure system for the nation. There are three parts of the Constitution. The most popular part are the amendments. The first 10 amendments, which I have a video on, which should be here or here, are called the Bill of Rights. There are a total of 27 amendments. Number three, the three branches of government. Before I get into this, I do have a video on exactly this topic, which goes into more detail in this. I will either link it down below or I'll put it here or here for easier access. The three branches of government are the legislative, executive, and the judicial. To shorten it, the legislative makes laws, the executive branch enforces the laws, and the judicial branch basically makes the laws make sense. They decide how the laws can be enforced into the real world. Number four, the seven principles of government. I do also have a video on this, which is roughly five minutes. If greater detail is needed, the link of it should be down below or it should be on your top right or left corner. The seven branches of government cover checks and balances, federalism, individual rights, limited government, popular sovereignty, republicanism, and separation of powers. The seven principles of government were created to avoid the new government from having too much or excess power. Number five, which is actually a person, John Jay. He is notably remembered for helping create the Constitution, negotiating the Treaty of Paris, which helped end the American Revolution, helping to write the Federalist, pa Federalist Papers, which were made to convince Americans to support the Constitution, and he was the first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, appointed by George Washington, of course. And then he later worked as a New York governor to help abolish slavery. Number six, eminent domain. This is when the government has the right to take your property and pay you or give you fair compensation for the property so they can have it for public use. It's like when they take your home to build a road, a post office, or a library, or things of that nature. Number seven, Tocqueville's take on the USA. This is an all round huge topic, but I'll try my best to give the key facts needed for the start test. Alexis de Tocqueville traveled to the United States in 1831 from France. He was a supporter of democratic revolutions, like the French Revolution and the American Revolution. He praised America for the free political life. He had a few unpopular and popular opinions that helped shape what America is today. Number eight, individualism. This is a political philosophy that stresses the worth of an individual. It was also created by Alexis de Tocqueville. This subject was emphasized highly during the shaping of America. Number nine, basic vocabulary you need to remember. Manifest destiny. That is the belief or theory that it was the right for United States to occupy all of America from sea to shining sea. The Holocaust. This was the murder of about 6 million Jews by the Nazis and Adolf Hitler for various reasons. Lastly, the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882. This provided an absolute 10 year ban on Chinese laborers from immigrating to the United States. Number 10, the Great Depression. This was caused by overproduction, underconsumption, and stock market speculation. It lasted from 1929 to March 1933. It was the worst economic turndown in history. Overall, unemployment rates reached its peak at the time, which was 24.9%. 
Number 11, suffrage and the women's suffrage movement. Suffrage is a fancy word for the right to vote. The women's suffrage movement was a long fight which lasted about 100 years to get women the right to vote and as many opportunities that men got to embrace that women could not. This fight lasted from 1848 to 1920. In 1919, the 19th Amendment was released which allowed women the right to vote. Number 12, 19th Century America. This was from 1830 to 1865. The main source of income for the North was manufacturing. The main source of income for the South was slavery, which led to things like crops. Quotes America gained after the Civil War, number 13. We gained two world-changing quotes here, which were e pluribus unum, which means from many come one, and it shows that America will stand together through anything. And the second one was, in God we trust. This is the national motto and has been used since 1864. Number 14, Jim Crow laws. These were passed from 1876 through 1965. These laws indirectly enforce segregation. For example, they would separate restrooms for blacks and whites. Number 15, grandfather clause. This is one of the weirdest ways that they used to not allow black people to vote even though they were supposedly allowed to. It restricted voting to those whose grandfathers hadn't voted before the year of 1867. Number 16, Plessy v. Ferguson. It was in 1896, and this was the Supreme Court decision that upheld segregation. They agreed with the claim that separate but equal was indeed fair. Lastly, number 17, the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This was a major milestone for the fight in equal rights and segregation. This law made discrimination by race, religion, or national origin in public places illegal, and it required employees to hire on an equal opportunity basis. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also comment if you want a part two. If you have any concerns or any issues, make sure to DM me on my Instagram, which will be in the description, and I will place a picture around here somewhere. All right, everyone, Jesus loves you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.